about yourself like this candy bag. Each of us are going through life gathering things that we like, trying things, and deciding we don't like them. But as we grow up, our bag is getting full of different things. You, each of us are made individual with a purpose and a plan. Maybe some of you like sports. Maybe some of you are musicians. This month, as we talk about individuality, we're going to discover who you were made to be so that you can make a difference. Part of knowing that who you are is rooted in knowing who God says you are. We're starting off the month this week with looking at Genesis chapter one. How you see yourself is very important to be based on how God sees you. Genesis one tells us that you are made in the image of God. The bottom line is you were made in the image of God. Well, hey everyone, we're in for another exciting month. This month, we're studying what it's like to be unique and made by God. Basically, custom creations of God. I'm gonna start off by just saying, do you know what art is? Do you like seeing art? I had a chance to visit Europe a long time ago, and when I was there, it was really cool to see the masterpieces that hang in, in the museums. You know, I used to always see them and I'd think they were very small, but when you get up next to them and you really look at them, they're enormous. The Dutch masters, some of them are, are 14 feet tall and 20 some feet wide. Just huge, gorgeous pictures. Well, if you like art, then maybe it'll make sense to you to understand that people are God's masterpiece. <laughs> That's kind of hard to understand when you see how many different people there are, how many different shapes, sizes, varieties, colors, everything under the sun is different. No person is unique. No uh, is not, is the same. Everyone is unique. From your fingerprints to how you look and how you talk, you are unique. You see, when God began and created the world, he separated the light from the darkness. He, he made the plants and the animals. He made the sun and the moon and the stars. He, he made the seas and the dry land. God made everything and he said that it was good. And on the sixth day, on the sixth day, God created the greatest masterpiece because he created people. And I want to read from you out of Genesis chapter 1, verses 26 and 27. Then God said, let us make man in our image, in our likeness. We are like God. Y you know, God is creative and we are creative. I, I know that it's so cool to see the things that people come up with. I love to see kids' drawings and kids' ideas and, and adults that design skyscrapers and, and people that can take a mountain and carve a sculpture out of it. And, and you take a piece of marble and you can make it into a, a countertop that you can use. Incredibly creative. God is creative and people are creative. God is relational and we're relational. Think about it. God wants a relationship with us and we have relationships with others. We have relationships of parents and, and their kids. We have relationships of best friends. We have relationships of husband and wives. We have relationships of people who have never seen each other having a commonality of purpose and being able to be relational. That's the way God made us. Why? Because he's relational. God's relational and we're relational. Caring. You know, one of the greatest attributes I think people have is the ability to care for one another. I mean, we have nurses and doctors and we have respond, first responders and, and people who go when other people run out. We have people that run in because we're so caring. We care so much for people. God cares so much for people that he gave his one and only son. We can see that because God is caring, we're caring. And it said right there that he was made, people were made in the likeness of God. I want to finish up what it says. 
It says not only that, but and let him rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air and over the livestock and over the earth and all the creatures that move around on the ground. God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. I mean, that's how we should view other people. We should view other people that they are made in the image of God. And God created you and I for a purpose. We have a plan that God has set into our lives. God knows what he wants for us. When God created people, they are his representatives on the earth. And it says in verse 28 of Genesis chapter 1, God blessed them and said to them, be fruit fruitful and increase in number and fill the earth and subdue it. You know something? God made us to be his representatives right here on the earth, to ones to take care of, to, to, to be creative with, to oversee, to, to like farm and, and, and keep things. Like, like a shepherd keeps sheep, like a, a farmer keeps the fields, uh, like you keep track of your things at home. God said basically, listen, we want man to be the one who cares for the world. Every single person is made in God's image. Every single person is made in God's image. You wouldn't treat something that was made in God's image badly if you thought about it like that. I mean, when you make an art project, do you want it to be thrown away? Do you want it to be belittled and to be ridiculed? No! When you make a project, you want people to see it and admire it and give it a lot of attention. And that's the way we should treat people. You see, the people of the world in all the ways that God made them are unique. And He wants us to treat those people with respect. He wants every single person to have a relationship with Him. And he wants us to be the ones who share that relationship so that others can know how to have a relationship with God. So, let me ask you this. If you were to be asked, how would you describe God? What would you say? That he's special? That he's important? That he's caring? That he's really awesome? You know something? That's the way I would probably describe you that you're special, that you're important, that you're caring, that you're really awesome. And when you see that you respond by how you describe God is sometimes how you describe other people and yourself, that becomes something that you learn that helps you treat other people the way they want to be treated. So how would you describe God? And can you transfer that to how you would describe people? made in his image. Somebody that's awesome, that made something awesome, we wouldn't call that thing that they made terrible. So I'm just asking you this question. You know, do you understand what it's like to treat people the way God wants us to treat them? The way they want to be treated? Because it's going to have an impact on you when you start seeing people the way that God does. How he loves them and cares for them and wants the best for them. If you do that, then you're just doing what God created you to do. Treat other people the way that they want to be treated. Pray with me now. Father in heaven, I thank you so much that you've made everybody unique, that you've made us so special that there's not one person out there that's just like us. So help us to treat others the way they want to be treated and help us to do what you've called us to do and show others a relationship with you and how they can have it through your son, Jesus Christ. Oh, we love you so much, God. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Now, guys, we'd love to have you in person. Join us on Sundays. We have kids ministry at 9.30 and 11. It's gonna be a lot of fun, always right here at Northside Kids. But I got some questions here at the end that I want you to watch, and I want you to talk about them as a family. And be sure to join us next week. Have a great week.